Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we have just concluded an enormously productive day. I said this morning that today would be an opportunity for our nations, both individually and collectively, to make concrete commitments and take tangible steps to secure nuclear materials so they never fall into the hands of terrorists who would surely use them. This evening, I can report that we have seized this opportunity and because of the steps we've taken as individual nations and as an international community, the American people will be safer and the world will be more secure. It's not enough. That's the whole reason we started this project. We're not out there risking our lives for fame and fortune. Let the politicians do that. But politicians don't have the backbone it takes to fix this problem. Ten years we've worked, Department of Defense, and for what? Thinking we're making this country and this world a safer place? The world has changed. A lot of people worked a long time, according to the old plan, but now it's time to do something different. We've got to keep moving forward. You'll need these. What are these? Don't worry about it. Just keep them in a safe place right now. Now you've got to go. It's done. I have the last part. It should take three weeks to get it out of the country. You should have it in a month. I'm not the one to do it. The call should come from outside of the U.S. and not to Washington. We have plenty of people. Why me? Why not one of our Russian or Chinese contingents? Our government started this crazy race, and the U.S. has to lead the world to end it. But Obama's nuclear summit wasn't a real success. Why do we... Why do we think the U.S. is the right place to deliver the message? Only the U.S. can stop it, and all of its crazy fallout. Obama knows that. The world knows that. Don't you get cold feet on us. Okay, but if I do it, I'm gonna do it now. That's what they want. That's perfect. We're ready. Only do it exactly as instructed. by saying that you have no option but to talk to him or the consequences will be unimaginable. Have you contacted the FBI? They've already tapped in and started their trace. We'll put him through. This is Henry Holt, Director NSC. How can I help you? Don't say a thing. I have a message for you to deliver. I'm sure this is being recorded so your job won't be too hard. This is not a threat. This is a promise. If all the world nuclear powers do not destroy all nuclear weapon capabilities, then my organization is prepared to detonate a nuclear bomb in one capital city each month in the order that we will choose. Moscow, Washington, London, Paris, New Delhi, Islamabad, Beijing, Pyongyang, Jerusalem. Our time's up. Sarah? Director Holt, this is Special Agent Maxwell. We got his timing right. We couldn't get a trace. It's probably just another crank. No need to lose sleep over a phone call. You need to shut up and listen. If you don't do your part, the capitals of the world's largest nations will become uninhabitable, one capital at a time. We will decide when, and we will decide the order. But the world powers can stop this from happening. You must destroy all nuclear weapons. You will never talk to us again. Very soon you will realize our capabilities. What happens after that depends on the actions of the world leaders. Again, time's up. What kind of crank are you?
What is with you people? FBI, CIA, NSA, so bright and powerful, with over a half a trillion dollars in annual budget and you can't find one phone caller? I don't care if the phone was stolen, gifted, or handmade. Find me that goddamn caller. Mr. Ho, Mr. Ho, you gotta see this. What the hell? You can't mean it. This is more real than any of us ever imagined. Yes, Mr. President. This threat cannot be addressed by countries working in isolation. We had no reasonable choice, sir. Even if it was a small explosion, DC and its suburbs would be uninhabitable for a century. This isn't one of the greatest threats to our global security. Yes, Mr. President. We want to have that fuel cycle ability, and we don't want nuclear weapons.